the ministry is to continue to use science and technology to improve the lives of Lagosians in general and to bring it up to, to speed as a world-class uh, city-state. The auto red system, now you cannot just take your registration papers and go and do them, you know, anywhere you go in Lagos, we will search the database extensively and if there are duplications or if it was registered in another person's name, you know, it will immediately spring up. So that we're using technology to want to ensure that all registrations of vehicles are genuine. We've also just kicked off a citizen's registration program, which essentially is designed to give an accurate figure of exactly how many residents there are in Lagos State. We've also taken a few of our initiatives already to the citizens. Uh, if you're someone who deals with land matters generally, uh, you want to search land records, you can come and do that electronically here. We're taking that online as well, so very soon you'll be able to do that online and pay for it online. So we're gradually, we're getting to where we would like to be in terms of using technology to continue to improve uh, service delivery. midwife then. We've done quite a few successfully. We have a school's uh, registration portal which is called Last Gems. We also have a, uh, an information portal for the school which is called uh, Lagos Schools Online. We've also in some schools, uh, about 120 thus, thus far, built uh, ICT labs and uh, we also run a yearly science and technology camp you know, uh, which is an off-site off camp for children. We take them off-site to, to uh, to learn about technology and to encourage them about science as well. Now, all these are geared towards improving the quality of our future leaders. Uh, and uh, that is really one of the things that this administration is very, very keen on doing. Education is a huge priority in Lagos State. We run a program for teachers in the states. It's uh, on how it's on how to use uh, technology as a computer application program, internationally standardized called IC3. We're also working with a few OEMs, uh, looking at how we can strengthen the uh, the partnerships with them to further help us, you know, improve on how our teachers and educators use technology so that eventually it spills down to the kids. Now, at the same time as well. We're also very mindful of the fact that as good as technology is, it also has its darker side. So we had already started to talk about what we call cyber safety, especially for the kids. To put everybody on the same network, uh, the essence is to improve our internal communications, uh, first of all, and allow us to work better as a state. So we'll create a, uh, a network that will be holistic, it will give everybody the ability to work with the same applications, the same workflows, so email cuts across all the civil servants, the applications as well, our ERP, our workflow, our document management will be accessible by all. The registration program will also of course beneficial for public safety um, by because uh, essentially you have a, a unique ID, you'll be given a unique ID number as obtains in other clients so we know who you are. Now that eventually that will be used for things and services we also deploy. So one is that you will not be able to say who you're not and if you do we can immediately verify. So if anything occurs we can check you know by running through our, our, our APIs, which is the biometric system. One, we're looking at a program to encourage the deeper penetration of broadband uh, within Lagos. That we are looking to do with the private sector, private sector driven. We will just obviously be involved, but the whole idea is that it should, it should be available in all nooks and crannies of the state. I mean, one of our uh, policy thrusts is what we call infrastructure renewal. The infrastructure of now and the future are no longer 
physical like roads and rail, you know, buildings, it's now the information superhighway. So we're going to give people access to that. To continue to ensure that the innovation that comes out of Lagos is cutting edge, and it is uh, already cutting edge. So that we're looking at as well. We are also doing a few other programs to also support that as well. Uh, we have a vision of a science park, uh, which essentially is a, is, a, is, a, is a hub for innovation research. We are also looking at putting up, uh, and that's, it's, it's gone pretty far in terms of planning, the, uh, what we would call our computer city. You know, so where we would want all the tech companies to eventually migrate to. Uh, why are we doing all this to prepare us for the Lagos of the future, Lagos of our dreams, which is to be the top city in Africa and to, be able to compete globally with any city worldwide. Penny Semovita is fortified with nourishing vitamins and contains fiber for easy digestion. Our low fat and high protein content with easily digestible carbohydrates makes for the perfect family meal. Golden Penny Semovita, share our secret. Now available in new attractive packs. A conducive learning environment with all the necessary infrastructure in place is no doubt very important for the development of the education sector. This is because when the needed infrastructure are in place, learning becomes interesting and easy for the students who in turn perform better academically. Bearing this in mind, the Lagos Metropolitan Development and Governance Project, with support from the World Bank, constructed an ultra-modern building which consists of 24 classrooms at Bagada Comprehensive Junior High School, Bagada, Lagos. Speaking at the commissioning, the project director, Lagos Metropolitan Development and Governance Project, Mr. Dayo Oguntade, spoke on the idea behind the construction while commending all the stakeholders for making this vision a reality. I commend all those who have worked with us and continue to do so to bring His Excellency's vision for the Bagada through Bariga area to fruition. Our aim is that this school will contribute to the provision of quality education for the children of this locality. As our dynamic governor said, our students are entitled to enjoy the right of studying in the very best environment and to compete against themselves in an atmosphere where the children of both the rich and the poor can interact. By building this school, we at LMGGP seek to play an active role in providing such an environment for the children of this community. In her keynote address, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Adejoke Urulukwe Adefulure, spoke on the determination of the Lagos State Government towards the development of education in Lagos. Let me start this remark by quoting one of the greatest leaders that our world has produced, Benjamin Franklin, who says, an investment in knowledge always pays best interest. It is on this note that I wish to express my great pleasure to join my children our future leaders on this special occasion to witness another huge investment in knowledge and human capital development. Today we all gather here to celebrate the fruit of beautiful synergy and partnership between government agencies. This serves as a big investment and statement on our determination to deliver qualitative and functional education to our children and to improve the life of our citizens. I therefore appreciate the management and staff of Lagos State Metropolitan Development and Government Project and the Ministry of Education Families under the leadership of our dear mother, sister, and friend, Honorable Mrs. Oladon Joy. 
as well as the special advisor for education for working together seamlessly to deliver this project. Consequently, the Commissioner for Education in Lagos State, Mrs. Ola Yinka Ola Dujoyi, charged the teachers and students to make good use of the infrastructure provided. We have ICT room here. We have a language laboratory here. So this is a one-stop building that has all the facilities that the students should need and they would need. And the Deputy Governor has told them that they have to take ownership of the school, use it and read hard. So at the end of the day, the investments of government will be justifiable. That's what I mean. And then you ask child parents to, to support their children, give them the basic things that they need, and ensure that they are good citizens of Lagos State. The representative of Bagada Residents Association appreciated the Lagos State government for improving the standard of education of its students. We are very grateful for this project. And from the bottom of our heart in this estate, we say thank you very much, ma'am. And we pray that the Almighty God will continue to guide the government of Lagos State. Because we know Lagos State, they have big dreams. And when you have big dreams, there are so many things that will make big dreams not to be realized. And that is the reason why in this estate we continue to pray that God will continue to guide the government and all the state functionaries. High point of the day was the commissioning of the ultra-modern facility by the Deputy Governor of Lagos State to the admiration of all. Some of the students of Bagada Comprehensive Junior High School also thanked the government for touching their lives. I would like to say a big thanks to the governor for what they've done for us, for the building they built for us. And I would like to thank them that God bless you. And I pray God will continue to bless them. Amen. I'm very grateful to Governor Babatunde Vadi Fashola and the Lagos Metropolitan Development. Um, and governance project LMDDP. Conclusively, it is said that to whom much is given, much is expected. It is therefore hoped that the beneficiaries of this laudable project will make good use of this infrastructure and, of course, imbibe the maintenance culture spirit. Mm -hmm.